Patrick, you're up first. Oh, I am. I'm sorry. Number nine, have you heard about Sumo Oranges? They are the NBT in fruits and veg. Really? I have to tell you, NBD stands for next big thing. People say it's an eating experience like no other. Huh. It's a hybrid of navel oranges, yeah. pomelos, and mandarins. Wow. It has an extra sweet taste. So why the name? Uh, easy. It's a small, wrinkly orange with a knob. Yeah. That looks similar to the top knot worn by sumo wrestlers. Uh, ah, yeah. there we go. Uh -huh. hmm. All right, number eight. Here's a real short one that shows what a regular guy Henry Winkler is. Lorelli tweeted that she was in the parking garage elevator of a big building in Los Angeles when the Fonz himself got on. Lobby, she asked him. Henry Winkler replied, yes, please. I thought of visiting all the other floors of cars, but then decided, no, not today, too hot. And she says after they got to the lobby, Winkler hung around and they just had a pretty lengthy conversation about nothing in particular. Huh. Mm. He's been nice every time he's Very been on the nice. show. Either that or he just has nothing going on in his That's day and he's trying to fill some time. Yeah, true. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, number seven. Why is this creepy light shining out of a woman's bathtub drain? Huh. She posted a, on a Facebook group called Things Found in Walls and Other Hidden Findings. She said the tub was in a hotel. Most people didn't have an answer until a plumber chimed in. He explained most hotels have big duct-like spaces between rooms where all the mechanical systems are exposed so they can be maintained. And if the trap in the tub is plastic and the maintenance person left the light on, it would be visible in the room. Uh-huh. Um, hmm. Weird. Now you know. Uh, number six, what are these guys doing? Whoa. Careful! Careful! They're trained professionals. Yeah, they've done this before. What the heck are they doing? But let me tell you, Larry. All right. Let's watch just a little bit longer. Yep. There you go. What they're doing there, Larry, is they're pounding rice into a traditional Japanese dessert called mochi. You have to really work the rice and add water to make the batter, and then it's made into these tasty little cakes all of all shapes and sizes and flavors. They have it at Whole Foods, uh, you, so you've probably wow. seen it. A lot mm. of effort goes into that. A lot of that. effort yeah. into yeah. that. Wow. Nice. Number five, uh, Mondays can be hard. So yeah. here's another very satisfying video from our pal, uh, Andreas uh, Vonerstedt. That sounds a little suggestive, that whole. Yeah. She gets a music, it's art, though. She gets a music that covers that up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's not, not the music. Really. It's, not, it's not making it better. <laughs> that's pretty good. She goes in and out. <laughs> There's a lot of options. The audio guy's having really it. He's just sitting there making himself laugh. <laughs> 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 Apparently, our audio guy is a 14-year-old boy from 1977. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun and we have one of three choices. I'm waiting to see who it is. Yeah. All right. Number, uh, number four. Ahead. This is Lloyd Bolin, otherwise known as the original rhinestone cowboy. Wow. Ooh. Look at him. He was an artist from Macomb, Mississippi, born in 1909 and died in 1995. Hmm. And long before the Bedazzler was a thing, Roy covered everything he touched with thousands of rhinestones, wow. from his clothes, wow. to his Cadillac, his Jeez. home, even his dentures. Wow. Roy's rhinestone home has been moved out of Mississippi in an effort to preserve it. It's now on display at the Kohler Arts Center in Wisconsin. Oh, no another reason to visit Kohler. Yeah. Wow. Mm. 
All right, number three, in some small lakes and ponds, fish sometimes seem to come from nowhere. Scientists have wondered how the eggs could have gotten to the bodies of water if there were few, if any, fish there in the first place. But a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Ooh, it's a good yeah. read, found that ducks play a role. Fertilized fish eggs are so resilient that they can enter one end of a duck right. and survive coming out the other. Wow. So the duck eats in one spot, then yeah. gets rid of those eggs in a different lake, and the fish yeah. eggs hatch there. How do you huh. like that? How do you like that? Like a magic trick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. Wow. Good for them. All right, uh, number two. Uh, Simone Gertz lives in uh, Los Angeles and makes robotic stuff. Uh, she says, I built myself a proud parent. It charges me 25 cents for a pat on the shoulder. Take a look. Proud of you, son. Wow, it's a long way to yeah. go. Yeah. Very little. I don't think my parents have ever patted me on the shoulder. No. How about if they told you they're proud of you? Yeah, no. <laughs> they're still telling. Going, they're still Out time. loud, have they said it to you? No, they no, probably said it to other people right, to brag yeah, about right. you. Yeah. Yeah. Same with you? They're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, we're not very, you know. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of genuine conversations yeah, going yeah, on, right. you know, but we're way. fine. But it all worked out fine. Yeah, you turned out just fine. <laughs> Number one. Oh, Pat we, and I have a lot of discussions oh, to have. Boy, we, should, <laughs> we, we should be doing a two for one with yeah. the same therapist yeah, we so should. we save some money. Number one, the Eurovision Song Contest has been going oh. since 1956. This year, it will happen in May at a stadium in the Netherlands. Each participating country submits an original song to be performed on live Ooh. television and radio with competing countries, then casting votes for the other country's song. That is how the winner is chosen. Many years, Iceland submits a weird song, and they did it again. There's no way we can pronounce this band's name, but the song is called Ten Years. All right. We've been together for a decade now. Oh. Still afraid I am loving you more. If I could do it all again, I'd probably do it all the same as before. I don't want to know what have happened if I never had had your love. Ooh. I didn't become myself before I met you. I'm in. Are you? I don't want to know what have happened if I never had had your love. Yeah. Everything about you. You sure those jet skis are dangerous? Especially when they fly, Robin. Yeah. How does it keep getting better? Oh. Oh, I'm in now. <laughs> Catchy, yeah. too. There we go. This is like if David the Rock Nelson had a budget. Yeah. yeah. We got a good thing going. Yeah, oh, do. yeah, you do. Don't forget it. Oh, wow. What? Whoa. Lasers? Oh, it just keeps getting yeah. better and better. We got to Skype with these guys. What? So every country does one of these. Wait, did they win, Pat, did you say? Or are they uh, in the contest? No, no, there's a contest. Know. Oh, okay. This is just their entry. Wow. I'd like to see all the other ones. We could do this for a while. I know. Well, Iceland's killing it, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Uh-oh, what's going to happen here? Wow. They got my vote. Yeah. Catchy tune. Great costume. Did I miss who are the faces on their chests of? Is it I their think own it's their faces? own, right? Oh, I love it. Well, oh, it's got a story. It does. <laughs> <I know. laughs> really? What's the story? Yeah. What's the story? Once First upon a time, pie. Yeah. there was a synthesizer. Oh. And a robot and a giant oh, boy. This is Here's fantastic. The right yeah. Here. Oh. yeah. Oh, we're. Yeah, we don't want to give it all away. Too. Art's not free. <laughs> Gotta pay for it. Nine and nine.